Hey guys, my name's Chris and I'm here again with another UWL University of West London video. So in today's video I'll be talking to you about what to pack when you move down to university in London. Let's get into it. When people move down to university, they always pack way more than they actually need. Trust me, talk from experience, I know that overpacking and stairs, it's not a good combo. All right, so the first thing you need is probably a computer. It's not the biggest worst case scenario, obviously depending on your course, it can be very different. But for my course, a computer is key, whether that be a laptop or a big computer. Obviously, we're lucky in the scenario that if you don't have a computer, you can use the computers at UWL in the libraries. So it's not the end of the world, but it will save you a lot of time if you can get one. Oh, and you probably will need to hand in assignments on these, so it's probably better you have one. So the second thing you need is notebooks, pens and planners. I came into university thinking, oh, I won't need to plan anything. I won't even need a notebook. I'll type everything. No, trust me, you need a planner. When assignments start building, when all the projects are due, you need a planner to kind of sell your life. It saves you so much time in the process and makes your life so much easier. And obviously notebooks and pens, just to write lecture notes in so you can type up later. It's so much quicker and easier than typing in my opinion. Obviously, it's all subjective, so it's up to you with that. The next thing you need is clothes. So I brought my clothes in a travelling rucksack. So if you've got a travelling rucksack, it's so helpful. I can fit all my clothes in there, and it's super easy and transportable to bring them all around. Talking from a travelling and a university standpoint, always take just a little bit less clothes than you're actually going to wear. So always take the clothes you're 100% sure are wearing, and then one's like, oh yeah, I'll wear them on a cold day or something. Just think about if you really need them, because when you're looking that stuff up the stairs, you'll really be regretting that extra pair of shoes you took. Especially when you don't wear them all year. The thing everyone always forgets when they go to uni is to bring a folder. This isn't a folder in theory for your university work. This is a folder for the important documents in your life, whether that be your CV, your covering letter, your A-level GCSE results, your medical records, your phone bills, or just your work bills in general. Having all these in a big folder that you can take to uni saves so much time when you're trying to contact home just to change that little detail on your phone bill. Trust me, it's a lifesaver. It's the, probably one of the biggest tips I've ever had. Having that folder has saved me so much time, so many times this year. This is more of a sentimental one, so whenever people leave home, they always think, oh, it's a new start, it's a new home, but never forget these homely things that really make your home a home. So for me, this is pictures. So pictures really motivate me. They remind me where I've come from, all the memories I've had, and actually why I'm at university in the first place. So I usually leave these just next to my computer, but any other homely reminders that you wanna take, whether it be a special blanket, a special pillow, whatever you want from home, just to really make that settling in period a lot easier on yourself, it will help a lot. These next two come hand in hand really. So the first one is a drying rack for your clothes. Honestly, just getting one of these beforehand saves so much time when you're trying to dry your clothes. They're easy to put up, they're very flexible. Honestly, it just saves you so much time. The second one is a big bag to kind of get your dirty washing in, just to take down, it's just so much easier when you want to wash your clothes rather than trying to carry it all at once. Trust me, I've done it in halls, I've done it in flats, just get a washer thing, it helps so, so much. So I'd also always recommend taking books, any kind of magazines at all, or just something that you can watch TV shows on. Just so when you're not at uni, when you're not with your friends, you kind of get that alone time to really understand and really develop as a person, just because it will be a hectic time when you first move in. Obviously with all these new people, these new experiences, you've got to always look after yourself. And for me, reading and watching movies has always been that way of me looking after myself. So I'd always recommend that to yourself, of take a book, take something to really take you out of the university world and just focus on yourself, whether that be for 10 minutes or an hour or whatever. So I'll delve a little bit now into what not to bring. So a lot of people, myself included, when I first moved in, we made this mistake and it doesn't always work out right. So obviously you can overpack clothes, you can do that, but they're very easy to send back. That can work itself out. But the thing people always do is they always bring so much food to university and they bring so many cleaning supplies. 
I get the food, I get that 100%. A lot of the time it's your parents saying, oh, take the food, take the food, and you're like, oh, go on then. Just feel first beat, but trust me, get food when you move in. It's so much easier on you, and it just saves so much time unpacking. Whether there be pots or pans or anything, there's always an Ikea nearby, and there's no better way this is also experience now, there's no better way to get into know your flatmates in a big IKEA trip together. Honestly, it's amazing. So you can buy all these things when you first move in and trust me, again, trust, there's a lot of trust in this, but you've got to trust me. When you move in and you discuss and you realize you've got six woks, eight frying pans, you don't need that money, you need two. So you can organize in the flat who can buy what and you can have a proper, productive household rather than having 20 plates, 40 sets of knives and forks. It just doesn't work out when you've got that many. So you can organize this together and then go out and buy this when you first move in. But yeah guys, so that is my video on what not to bring and what to bring to university. So obviously it's not the end of the world if you forget any of these things, you can just buy something new when you come down. Trust me, I forgot so many things when I first moved down and next time I move, I'll forget so many things again. But you can always buy things, it's not the end of the world if you forget something. So yeah guys, thanks again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really wish you a safe travels when you come to university in London.